Cadulo for 360 Today. Yesterday, we brought you the exciting first round of the Female Muay Thai League's first fight. Today, I hope you're ready for round two. The first round action was intense between Yayoi from Japan with her five wins, with three KOs and only one loss, and Nang Nia Sor San Ram from Thailand with 17 wins, nine losses, and two draws. How will the second round go? Let's watch. And by the way, how many of you have been watching uh, this 3D VR 180 fight with your headsets? Leave a comment below to tell me what you think and what headset you're using. Keep watching, because here comes the action. But to start round two here out of three rounds. Good opening round, as Aaron said, from Yayoi, the Japanese fighter. Just aggressive, really, pushing forward and landing her punching combinations. Again with the aggression, that left high kick from the uh, Japanese fighter. Nongno trying to fight fire with fire and throw back some right high kicks. Well, Sanram, the younger fighter, is the more experienced fighter, so we'll see if she can dial it up a notch here in the second round. She's going to want to try to find a way to push forward and earn the respect of her opponent. Because right now, Yayo is just rushing with those three, four punch combinations. I like the message coming in here from Ishmelo saying, let's go, ladies. I can't wait for KC of Katya. She's fighting later from uh, Phuket top team. I feel like your social media game is really on point. I'm trying. Today, <laughs> I'm trying. Right kick to the midsection from Nongna. Yeah, definitely uh, happy to be bringing more female fights and more female events. Thank you, ladies, for your support as well. Yeah, I mean, we've been saying this for years, that if guys can beat the crap out of each other, why can't girls? Amen. Let's get back to the action. Right kick. Oh! A little stumble there from Yayoi. Yeah, Sanram used it to her advantage to land the knee as well. Good left hand there. Stiff jab from the Japanese fighter, then moved in with a right hand. Yeah, and right now Sanram's just struggling to put her combinations together. A lot of it's just naked kicks, just one kick one knee, and then separate. I don't think it's enough to change the way this fight's going at the moment. Especially not when you're fighting someone as aggressive and productive as Yayoi. Elbows are plenty as well in this round. That being said, Sanram does like to throw the elbows, and we've seen it many times before, Aaron. One elbow is all it takes. landed the yeah. right way, can change a fight, so. It, especially a spinning back elbow. The power that that can produce. The only problem with that is very difficult technique. It's hard to trick someone into walking into it as well. Usually you can see them coming if you know what you're looking for. Right hand followed it up with an elbow there again from Yayoi. Backing up into the corner. Left elbow. You've just joined us, folks. Yayoi only has uh, five fights. Sorry, six fights. Seven. On a Seven. Keep at <laughs> You're almost there. Oh, you're going to get there. Seven fights on a <laughs> oh, record. straight right. Five wins and three knockouts. As opposed to a Nongna, her opponent. Yeah, unfortunately. 28 fights. Unfortunately for Sanran, this second round is going much the way of the first. Yayoi yeah, has not slowed down at all, and she just keeps pouring it on. Oh, there's that spinning back elbow attempt again, but she eats another right hand. Yeah, I mean, Yayoi's yeah, hardly even given her enough space to really throw it. As soon as the ref separates her, she's right back on her. Like peanut butter on toast. Beautiful right knees to the body there. Like peanut butter on toast there. I've been eating a lot of <laughs> peanut butter lately. End of round two. Well, you got to wonder what the message they're giving to their fighter is for the Thai fighter, of course. 
probably down two rounds at this point. Just gonna have to search for that knockout in the yep. third round. He spotted it out of, out of that hematoma over the top of her left head. Yeah, she got a hematoma in that second round, most likely from one of those downward elbows that Yayo was throwing in the, when she had her back up into the corner. Of course, hematoma looks bad. It's, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, as far as like the kind okay, of things that you deal guy. with in a fight, you'd much rather have a much rather have a hematoma on your head than a cut. Hey, Kevin! Glad you can join us. But yeah, really, uh, the story of this fight so far is Sanram just hasn't had the answer for the aggressiveness of Yayoi who really just rushes her with punches. We'll see if it's more of the same here in the third and final.